Um, I'm working on a project for YouTube that I can't wait to share with you guys. So I got a few supplies yesterday that I need to do it. And um, I got some footage of shopping at Target late last night. I also looked for some new hats because I'm going to start treatment again soon and all my hair will fall out even though now it's starting to come back in because I haven't had treatment for over a month. So like on the sides and stuff it's starting to come back in but it's going to go soon so I got some new hats and this one I love it's by Lan Lancome which is a makeup company but I guess they're making hats and I love it it's really super soft. It goes with everything. It's really comfortable. So, um, yeah, so I got that and um, some supplies to do the really cool project that I mentioned. And I also have, as I mentioned before, one more Cinderella Kinder Egg. So I'm going to share that with you guys, too. But I'm going to spare you. You don't have to watch me eat the chocolate. I'll just let you enjoy um see and you can be surprised with me to see what's inside the kinder egg and see if kinder did a good job as mary fry would say from the fry life so i'll be back in a couple minutes and we can check out what the kinder surprise is okay see ya another one i like it's white it'll go with everything and it's super duper soft so I could even sleep in it. Yay! Love Target. Woohoo! Even at 11 o'clock at night. Shopping. I have a big, big, super exciting project coming up where this is going to come in handy. But I'm enjoying back to school shopping because it's been a long time and it's just fun. Hee <laughs> hee. Because those are all coming up. Bye. Well, I ate the Kinder Egg as I mentioned. And now I'm going to share it with you guys so that we can see what Kinder gave us. So here's the little egg. I'm going to pop it open. And I got another Cinderella slipper. It's so cute. So now I have two of them. And that's what's in the Kinder egg. I really enjoyed getting these and experiencing eating the, the chocolate and then seeing what the little surprise is. It's really fun. And I really appreciate my friend who found it, I think, online. And it's Italian, so Italian chocolate is out of this world. And I hope you guys enjoyed getting our little Kinder surprise. And, um... Just to give you an update, I got blood yesterday and then, I'm sorry, today, and then um, blood tests done to see if the kidney infection is doing better. And I find out about that on, <laughs> on Friday and we'll find out if I'll be able to have kidney, to have treatment. Um and go from there and I've been looking for more apartments but I haven't been able to find something <laughs> wheelchair accessible yet so please keep me in your prayers for that because the next payment that I owe the apartment is due Monday and it's 1846 which is a lot of money and um, after that, it goes back to the normal price, which is sixteen fifty, but that's still a lot. So I'm looking for another place, and um, please keep me in my prayers, in your prayers, that I can find a new place or um, come up with the money that's needed by Monday. And that's just kind of what's going on. And I'll keep. But there's some other things that I really wanted to address. And a lot of people have been writing to me asking why I haven't addressed the issue of the lion that was killed by the dentist. I believe the lion's name is Cecil. Why I didn't address 
that in any posts or um, just at all. And the reason for that is I am not only psychic, but I'm empathic. And when you're empathic, it means that you feel things that others are feeling. And you're really sensitive to energy. So when sad stories like that come out, they really, really affect me, especially when it's causing harm or killing a beautiful, majestic creature or killing anything really because I feel that pain so deeply and I have to protect myself, especially since getting sick um, because it it takes such a toll on my energy and as you can see I love this kitty here with all my heart and I've been blessed she's been with me so far for 17 years and she's my baby and you know the lion is a is a distant relative to her because they're cats and She's domesticated, of course, but she comes from the same species, and she is so intelligent, and we can speak to each other telepathically. I put my forehead to her forehead, and I can feel what she's feeling, and she feels what I feel, and she argues with me like a human. I posted that, I believe it was yesterday or the day before of her arguing with me because she wanted something and she has personality and she detects when something's wrong with me before I even know sometimes like um before I even got diagnosed with the kidney infection she was laying on my kidney area in bed with me like she wouldn't get off of it and she stayed on it constantly, and that's how I knew that I probably had a kidney infection. And then I did, and then even when I was having issues with my thyroid, she would lay across my neck and purr as loud as she could. She did this for months, and then I needed the thyroid removed because of growths on the thyroid. And she detected them, so I call her my little, my little Dr. Kitty, um, because she's so smart and she knows so much. And so, for a beautiful lion like Cecil to be killed, it just, it just breaks my heart. And I think to hunt any animal for sport is actually horrible. Um, because why would you make a sport of killing something? I understand that some people have to hunt to survive, and that's one thing. But to hunt for the sport of it, to brag and to feed the ego, that is just, it's plain barbaric and horrible and horrific. But that's why I didn't address it sooner. Another thing I've been asked about several people have sent me messages asking if I would help find the two young men, two boys that were lost in West Palm Beach um, when they went out on the boat. And I have been trying to help with that case, but because it does involve water, all I could see is just water, 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 water. And again, it was very, very emotional for me. Um, it made me depressed because I felt the anguish of the parents to some degree. And um, when I did try to work on the case, I felt a lot of feelings that I think were probably um, correlated or related to what the boys might have been feeling. And I've been praying for them. I haven't yet connected with them in spirit, so that hasn't come yet, um, but I have been praying for the family, praying for them, and 
just doing the best I can, but those things are really emotional for me, and I have worked a lot on police cases, but I haven't been doing that work because that is very, very energetically draining and physically exhausting, and I just haven't had the energy to do that. Now, when I do readings, like email readings, phone readings, and meeting people in person, that gives me energy, and to help people, that gives me energy, and that's why I can do it for hours and hours and hours. Excuse me, the other day I did 20 emails in one day, and I was working from early, early in the morning until about 8 in the evening. Of course, stopping to eat and take meds and stuff, but other than that, just working straight through and it gives me energy and enjoyment so I can do that but for cases like what happened with those two boys and you know thinking about what happened to beautiful majestic Cecil the lion is just horrible for someone like me who's empathic which means that I take on and feel other people's emotions, um, you know, when I'm thinking about it. So I just wanted to address that because I've been getting so many messages and I wanted to find the right time. And so now I've been able to kind of process, you know, what happened with Cecil, what happened with the boys. And um, so it's easier to address now. But Kitty and I love you, and until next time, love, light, and blessings. Bye.